Hello everyone, and welcome back to Corpse Party! So last time, um... I don't know, my internet was having issues, so I never really finished chapter 4. So I have yet to do that, I'm just making sure everything's working now. Just give me a moment. Alright, perfect. I'm just gonna have my stream open so I can be sure it's working. There! So yeah, we're gonna finish chapter 4, and depending on how long that takes, I'll then probably do a few extras. Because we've got the extra little uh, parts as well. So! Let us hop back into continuing on uh, chapter 4. We ended off in like a pool area. Yeah, there. So yeah, where we saved off, we have to head to the pool area here. Which I think I read this last time. So I'm gonna skip this. She has a nosebleed. I'm just kind of getting back to where I was. Okay, nothing there. Got head out. Boo -ba -doo -ba -doo. Okay, skip all that. He tells her to head back in. We've already read that last episode, so I just didn't want to read it again. Hopefully, um... Okay, it's locked. And then we hear like, um... Oh no, we have to get the key! To get the key! The pump room key. Alright. Okay. So now we have this timer. So I'm pretty sure she fell in and was like possessed or something by a ghost. So we have to go and save her, but our character cannot swim. Yoshiki cannot swim. So this is the part we're kind of stuck on. We have to save her in a way um, that we don't involve swimming because Yoshiki can't swim. So what is wrong with me? What am I doing? And hello, moderator! Welcome, welcome, welcome! How are you today? I should have never taken my eyes off her. This is all my fault, goddammit! Miku! <laughs> hello, Miku, welcome! How are you? <laughs> okay, so I can't swim and I can't do the drain. Um. Shit, there has to be something around here that I can use. I'm doing pretty well. I'm just kind of trying to continue chapter four. So maybe I can unlock this and there's something in here as like a flotation device maybe? Because our character can't swim. So, and if I turn that off, she will die. She will die. So, uh, shit. Shit, she's gonna drown! <laughs> Cause I can't swim! Uh, unless I can do something over here. It's entirely, uh, okay, uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. No! Is there anything that I can grab? Anything. Uh, she's gonna die, isn't she? No, I have to save her. But we can't swim! And I failed. I guess I should try swimming because, like, she was possessed, fell in. Are you copying me? <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm I'm doing all right. I'm just trying to complete this. I'm frustrated because the one thing about our character is that he can't swim. Like he, like when I've top tapped the water before, he's like, I can't swim. So if I jump in, I'm gonna drown with her. 
but I have to save her in order to complete it. So, I don't know, and there's no flotation device. Ah! God damn it, Yoshiki, you should have learned how to swim. Okay, uh, skip all that dialogue. We've read that before. Unless one of the lockers has something. Do you have something, lockers? No. Not so far. Uh, I think I even checked all these and this one's like empty. Maybe because that one specifically mentions that it's empty next time I go in. It maybe has something, because uh, that's the case with the, this game. A lot of things change. So, yeah. Sad days. She went back in. That paper keeps moving, because it wasn't... Okay. But I probably don't deal with that. Oh, why is this... Okay, that's just a random tile. And then I just go down to the pump room to acknowledge it's locked. Duh, duh. And then I have to. Oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's locked. We walk back, get the key. And then I'm thinking maybe that locker will have something like a flotation device because. Yeah, I've had enough. Uh, Okay, she does her thing. Okay, first, I'm gonna unlock the room. I'm not gonna press the pump because uh, she will get crushed up in it and die. That's actually pretty you know, nice. So if I just jump in, I'm probably gonna die. So... I'm gonna check that locker again, because it's odd that that one specifies that it's empty. And none of the other lockers acknowledge anything. And I have to acknowledge, like, she's not here. So I can put two and two together. It, no, it's still empty. Okay. I guess I'll try jumping in, because I don't have any other options. There's no flotation device. What is wrong? Okay. Yoshiki, please. We gotta save her. Oh, apparently we can swim. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is where the waves were. So we can swim? What? I thought he couldn't! Like, that's what he said! She's not here, um... We might have picked the wrong spot. It was like around here though. Um, here? So I guess he can't swim, but he just lied to me. Okay, no, she wasn't there. I thought she was from over. Like, she she was around here. Um, yeah, I guess we did. Uh, right here? I'll have to pay attention next time where the waves were coming from then. Because I forget. No, she's not there. <sighs> Damn it. Oh my god, I was so close. She was literally right there. No! Okay, whatever game, fine. Be picky. <sighs> I'm crying right now. Oh well, um, so I have to pay attention to where the waves are so when I dive in, I can get her. Okay, that's good to know. Even though I was pretty much on the spot, I guess not. Okay. Skip all that dialogue. She got bloody nose. Bad times. Um. Pool time! I'm 
And probably after all this, I have to do the newspaper. Okay, she goes. Leave. There we go. Well, at least I know what to do now. Because I'm pretty sure the waves were coming from the upper pool area. But I'll have to be sure. Because it, it, you got to get exact or you ain't going to save her. Alright. Pump room, I've had enough. Okay, so... There. Okay. That's where it is. Okay, I gotta acknowledge that she's gone first. I don't need the pump room just yet. So I gotta acknowledge she's not there. So, uh, he can clarify that it is her. Okay, it's your fault kind of thing. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. And it was right around here. Yes. Okay, come on, please let it be her. No, that was the right spot. What do you mean? Uh, was it right there? God damn it! I swear to freaking gosh! If this isn't the right- Oh, oh, there it is! It's her! Don't worry, Shinozaki, I'm pulling you up! Oh, thank god. I would hate to redo that again. <laughs> Shinozaki! Sh Hello? Game? Oh, okay, there we go. Shinozaki! Shinozaki! Come on, breathe already, damn it! Oh, there she goes. Okay, thank god. Oh. <laughs> Welcome, Synthetic Design. Welcome. I haven't seen you around here before. Uh, how are you? <gasps> yes. She's okay. She lives. I, I like uh, Ayumi. God, don't worry me like this. You back with me now? Oh, come on, Ayumi. So tell me, why the hell did you jump into the pool? I hate how I came from that accent. <gasps> the moral of the story is never swim in a ghost pool. Indeed. <laughs> you called me out there, didn't you? I uh, what? I heard your voice, so I ran outside, and after that, I don't remember much else. I'm doing pretty good. I'm having a gr good, good, good old time playing some corpse party. I, I like, I like this game a lot <laughs> so far. The next thing I knew, my vision was all this sickening green color, and my mouth was full of water. God damn it. Was this the work of that those ghosts again? I can't believe they tricked us so easily. There's gotta be something in that pool. Oh. Oh, wait. Shit, I didn't read that. Wonder if the showers still work. Nope, <laughs> she's just gonna be stank the whole time. Or we're bo both gonna be stank because we had to go dive in and survive. Nothing. I can't get rid of this horrible taste. And I smell absolutely putrid. Okay. Thanks, game. I kind of wanted to read that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, How does she think I feel? Shinozaki, how about we go into the rain and wash ourselves off a little? Aww. Well, yeah, it's raining outside. That'll fucking help. 
Though I don't know how much help rainwater will be for getting the taste out of your mouth. <laughs> I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you rotten kids and that damn dog. <laughs> okay. Alright then, let's go. Yeah, like, there's rain. Rain will... After this, I guess we'll need to figure out how to dry our clothes. Air dry! Okay, showering in the rain. Feeling better? Yeah, surprisingly. I was able to rinse out my mouth pretty thoroughly. Were you? That's good. So, Shinozaki, while I was out here, I came across a room in the back that I'd kind of like to check. Oh, wait. I read that as her, not him. Shinozaki. Okay, I'll pretend I read it as his voice. I'll go with you. This probably for the best. All right, let's do it. All right, uh, so it is pump room time, I guess. And then we have to read that paper that keeps going back and forth. So... Yeah! And then I want to do a save, definitely, because it's been a... I don't want to redo that whole pool part. So we have to... Oop! Yeah! This is prob... Ugh, I hate that sound. Uh, hello? 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 Oh, okay. I thought something bad was happening. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure that just drained the pool here. Oh, no wonder it tasted awful. There's corpses here. Kanzui, okay. Mitsuki... Oh, we can get that newspaper now. Nice. I'm just collecting victims. Because I want to fill them out as much as possible. But yeah, if we um, just go and um, drain all the water and not save her, she'll be all... She she was all crushed up in this part of it and her guts were everywhere. Um, I removed the wheel from the water pump and threw it into the pool. Hopefully that'll keep anyone from finding the little treasure I left in the spigot. That bitch killed my friends. She can spend eternity without a tongue for all I care. Okay, so... One of... The uh, t tongues is in one of these, I think. Or wait, I need to read that again. I missed it. So, reel from the water pump and threw it into the pool. Left in the spigot. Okay. So, here? It's essentially oversized faucet or pump, oddly used for filling the pool. Its entire surface is covered in moss. It seems to have absorbed some of the water, puffing it up with a thick blackish, blackish green coat of ultra sl shiny slime. So... One of these has uh There. There. It would be this one. The dim lights around you are reflecting off of something deep inside the drain. Drainage grate. Try to fish it out. Yeah, it's a tongue. It's a child's tongue. Probably. Oh, shit. Phone's going off. <laughs> what is this thing? Some kind of handle? Oh yeah, we have to get that and uh, probably rusted valve wheel. We have to go back into the pump room and then we have to do things probably. And then we get the tongue. Here? Okay, attached. Yeah, attach. We need to get that tongue so then we can appease the ghosts. I think this is the second ghost we're gonna be appeasing. Ugh. That's as far as it's gonna go. I think it's too rusted to turn anymore. Um. Okay. Is there anything? Am I supposed to look in the pool? Or I don't know. 
I am lost. Or, oh, okay, there. It's a small hemp bag stained with copious amounts of blood. It seems to have fallen from the spigot. An elementary schooler's student ID name tag is attached to it. Heavenly Host Elementary School Class 1-6. Tokiko Tsuchi. The bag appears to contain a severed human tongue. Ugh. It's a girl's name. Okay, so now we have to return her tongue and it'll appease her and close off the space. But first, a save is required. I want to see what's in that locker, though. No, it's still empty. Okay. So, I want to go here. We have to find the girl. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. We got it. Um, I don't know where the girl is. Yeah, it will be good when the, they close because that gives them more of a chance to find each other. Okay, nothing new. Okay, I need to find where this girl was. Probably infirmary area? Because there was two chill childs. Childs. So maybe... Space is the final frontier. I am close to the end of Corpse Party because I just have this chapter and then uh, one other chapter and then there's the extras that are just previous students. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, hello. Whenever you're facing a flyer on the wall or just standing in the middle of the room if you think there's something- okay, no. You're useless. Info. Is the other girl- oh. Sachiko! So I guess we do have to go this way. And that's uh- yeah, there she is. The doll. It's weeping. Here we go again. What the hell is it gonna take us this time? Where your friend was splattered. Yeah, I, I figured it was. Yeah. The floorboards beneath that wall. Right under her globby body. Where the floor dips and the blood pools. Drip, drop. Drip, drop. Smelly, smelly, icky, icky. Get in there good and dig it out. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm sorry, I wanted to do a creepy voice. Uh, oh. So we have to. It's underneath her body. You're getting a good laugh out of this, you sick son of a bitch! God. If that's where it is. I, I'm not sure if we can bring ourselves to get it. Um, I don't know who this is, so is someone there? Oh, <gasps> it's that, that man. Moshke, you're alive. Ah, Kishinuma and the class rep too. I'm very glad that you are both safe and sound. Aww. Huh? What happened? I haven't seen him in a while, so... Last time I saw him, he was taking pictures of corpses. It's... A long story. So where have you been? I was in the second wing until a short while ago, but suddenly lost consciousness. And when I woke up here, it felt as if the air had somehow changed. Oh, yes. I did briefly cross paths with Mochira and his sister. You, you did? So they're okay too? 
They are, though when I ran into Mochida's sister, it seemed she and her brother had parted ways. Uh, Moshige? What is that in your hand? Ah! Arshke appeared to be grasping a blood-soaked pouch in his hands. Hmm? Oh, this. Uh, I found it under the floorboards in the hallway. Just up these stairs. Uh. uh dude. That's your friend. He got that on. Oh, wait. He doesn't know, though. He doesn't know that's uh, Mayu. But still, like, he's kind of fucked up. He was going around taking pictures of corpses the whole time. Is it some kind of charm? Do you want it? Please, take it. I'm merely searching for a certain someone. So I have no need for charms at the present time. Uh, that's so fucked. Received another tongue bag from Morshke. As with the others, there's a student ID name attached to the front. Heavenly Host Elementary School, Class 5-2. Yuki Kano. Well, I should be going now. Is something wrong, Class Rep? You look like you've seen a ghost. Ah, uh, yes, one more thing. Machida said we should all try and meet in Class 1A. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Oh. That's so fucked up. I'm guessing. Uh, it wasn't from, you know, Suzumoto's spot. Maybe it shifted over a few feet and he got it from there. I mean, if he didn't, then... That really freaked me out. Did you see his hands? They were covered in blood. Oh, and he did. He did. Oh boy. Well. <laughs> he. Oh my god. Well, that guy. Yikes. He's going cray cray. Okay, I'm just kind of readjusting. Um, I gotta find the last children. I don't know where they are. Okay, they're not in here, though. Okay, yeah, they can't go this way. Okay, I think the other little girl was in the hallway upstairs, though. She was chasing us around. So, must be. Uh, she was- yeah, she was up here. We had to avoid her. Yeah, there's the giggles. There they are, the last two kids. Which one do we give it to? Uh, you. Give it back. Give it back! <gasps> This girl's missing an eye, and the other one's missing most of her head. Alright, we've got our tongues. Is that gonna be enough? What do we do? Pull out the tongue- uh, out the tongue bags? Yeah, 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 you hear, you get a tongue, and you get a tongue. The girl lowered their- the girls lowered their heads, or what's left of it in one case, and began rocking slowly back and forth, as if feeling anxious. Yuki Kano. Tokiko Tsuji. Aww. These are for you. They're yours, aren't they? Handed over the two bags. That work? Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, it worked! Aww. We did it! All the tongues are returned. Because there was only... Uh, spoiler alert. There was only three victims. Uh, Sachiko, which was the other girl, lived. We 
We did it. We did it. We did it, Shinozaki. All three of them. All right. All that's left is the girl. No, no more. Every time I talk to these ghosts, I feel like I'm getting closer and closer to death myself. Do you have any idea what it's like? I keep picturing how I'll look when I'm dead. I'm not even trying. It just pops into my head all on its own. And it's such a horrible image. I want to go home. I just want to go home. Back to my mom and my sister. And Mochita. Oh, Shinozaki. All right, next one is mine then, okay? So just try to pull yourself to get- what? More earthquakes! Because I think the spaces are closing! God damn it, not again! Ah! This one's big too! Because, I mean, you gave two tongues. Ah! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! oh. oh. Wait, stuff, stuff's getting written in the book. Ugh. Um, hello, who are you? Oh, the spirit's back, great. Oof, was I knocked out? Shit. Where am I? Wait, are they back in their actual classroom? Huh? Is this our classroom? For real? <gasps> Is it? Shinozaki! <laughs> hey, wake up! She's breathing at least. Oh, that's good. Shinozaki, come on, wake up already. I really hope it is the case that they returned. Like, at least if a few of them did, that'd be good. Uh, Kisha Jean Numa? Oh. Oh. I'm so happy for them. Huh? Uh, what? Take a look around you. I can hardly believe it myself. But here we are. Oh. No way. Her back? New remote. For real? Is this really our school? Hell yeah, I hope it is. It's ri really real. Check it out. Here's my disc. Mine too! It's right here! I can't believe it! So it's really true! Yeah, we made it! We're home! We're home! Fuck yeah! Suck on that, world! <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Sorry, I was just doing things. Um, but where's everyone else is the question. I never thought I'd live to see home again. Okay, so. Hmm? Yeah, but like, yeah, where's everyone else? Guess there's no Satoshi or Miss Yumi or anyone else, huh? Uh, so, guess there's no Satoshi, Mr. Yumi, or anyone else. Ha! Huh? What's in out here? Entering out in search of others. You find that even the janitor has likely gone home. The lights are out, and the halls are pitch black. Only the red glow of the light next to the fire extinguisher offers any respite from the quaint, quiet darkness of the school hallway. Standing around in the dark and corridors of our school building at 8 in the evening. It just feels so surreal. Oh. As the thunder and rain grow in intensity, the windows began to 
cond condensate with moisture, turning white in contrast to the corridor's sea of black. Oh, ho -ho. Is this reality? Was everything up until now just a dream? Where am I right now? What am I doing? Yeah! <gasps> oh, what's happening? Huh? Yo, Shinozaki, what's wrong? Uh, what? My exact reaction. What? What the hell is this? It's not over, is it? Why isn't it over? Why? Damn it. What the fuck? <gasps> it's you! No! Go back! Don't come any closer! Oh. It was a rainy evening after school, just like this one. On the day I was kidnapped, I remember I had a fight with my mom that morning. Well, why is she telling us this? I have no idea. I didn't want to see her face. So after school, I decided that instead of going home, I'd park myself in the outdoor walkway for a little and watch the rain. That's when Mr. Yoshikazu showed up. He sat down next to me. I told him all about my fight with mom and he listened really closely and just kept saying, uh-huh, uh-huh. He was sick and couldn't speak very much, but he was a very kind man. I really liked him, but then... <gasps> oh. You too. I'm so sorry. She's so tiny. She must be fifth grader. Yuki Kano, right? Oh. Thank you for what you did back there. For making the effort to help those of us who were killed in that school. Didn't we succeed though? Why are you still here? You didn't. But we returned your tongues. We gave you back the ability to tell your story. We even got your murderer to repent for what he did. Is it just that you can't forgive him no matter what? Appeasing us isn't about, isn't about forgiveness. It doesn't matter if we forgive or not. Repentance is between the criminal and the victim. It's the sole act capable of moving us. Oh my god, a lot of reading. Uh, I need a drink. Wawa. And we exist as fragments of this sacred ground upon which Heavenly Host is sealed. I believe that moving us is your best course of action. But it's not enough. His repentance just wasn't enough. So you're saying his words, words spoken by the doll, weren't good enough to appease you? That's not... Oh. Huh? So... Oh, so what then? Why do you feel the need to trap one instant stranger after another in that godforsaken place? You child spirits are the ones who summon us there, aren't you? That's not true. The hell do you mean by that? We're just the cogs that hold the closed spaces together. But you... You killed Suzumoto, didn't you? Wait! Huh? Let's hear her out. Oh, 
I feel bad for her. I feel bad for all the children ghosts. I'm just glad I was able to get even the two of you back to safety. Why the hell are you suddenly so concerned about us? I heard about a situation like this from my sister once. A lost soul whose life was ended violently and abruptly, leaving her with a mountain of worries and regrets. It's kind of like stopping short at the edge of madness. With all sorts of thoughts of feelings swirling around in your head. Your kindly nature and your sudden hatred and panic begin to spin around and round, and you just start acting out with any sort of control. Your sister some kind of medium or something? Yeah, something like that. So what you're saying is, the, this little girl and the creepy little girl we met before are two sides of the same coin? Oh. Another drink. All this reading's making me really thirsty. <laughs> I feel you. For you. I really do. So please. Please. Bring the rest of them back. Machida. Miss Shishido. And everyone else too. Bring them all back home. Come on. I. You can do it, right? I don't think that's possible anymore. Why not? Those closed spaces have eaten a lot of innocent souls. Far too many, in fact. The grudges of those who died there have filled every last corner of them. There's no room left. And because the agony and pain has nowhere else to go, it's begun feeding on the minds and souls like us who are bound there. It wouldn't be long. Before I turn back into a vengeful spirit who attacks people like you without mercy. Oh, that's that's such a sad fate. My gosh, man. So, we're going to lose you as an ally then. Oh, so why don't you just hurry up and bring them home right now? Isn't there any way for us to save Wachita and the others? There may be one way. W what is it? I think you already kn know. You have to return to the closed spaces. Find all four of us heavenly host serial kidnapping and murder victims. And put us all to rest. Then the closed spaces won't have their cogs anymore. So they should begin to fade from existence. And you just might get your friends back. You expect us to go back? And this time, instead of just having one person left to appease, we have to go back to the drawing board and appease all for you? Why? Couldn't you have told- Tell us the reason- Why couldn't you tell us the reason- our previous efforts weren't good enough. What is there to hide? It's just... Something I don't want to remember, but... If you really want to know, I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything that happened. Yuki's spirit gently took hold of Ayumi's hand, and in an instant... Their two beings seemed to merge together into a single mind. Huh? What? What's going? Ah! Sh Shinozaki? It hurts! It hurts! Ha! Ah! What? What did she see? What, can please tell me what she saw. Uh. Huh? What? happened to me? Didn't I pass out? So why am I fully aware right now? I can't see a thing and I can't move. It's like that feeling when you get when you're really tired. Sleep paralysis, I think. Oh. Oh. Ha! Where? 
Why can't I move? Oh, okay. Oh, now we're back to Satoshi and Naomi. Satoshi, Naomi. I am just adjusting my sit position. All right. Sachiko's Shinozaki, the little girl in the red dress and the only survivor of the horrific murders that occurred in Heavenly Host Elementary School. Following the incident, Sachiko's family fled from the area, moving to another prefecture to escape the frightful memories that remained here. Strangely, however, I've been unable to locate any other records of the Shinozaki family. No matter where I look, the only information I can find about them comes from newspaper reports on the Heavenly Host murders. Granted, when an elementary school becomes the stage for a grisly incident such as this, perpetrated by none other than the principal's own son, it stands to reason that the scandal would serve as its primary focus for public interest, with all other details fading into the background. So, of course, after learning that such co safe, further news of her whereabouts was largely ignored in favor of the media circus surrounding the school. But... There's more to it than that. People weren't just uninterested in learning of Sachiko's history or whereabouts. There was simply no data to be had. What? So, did Sachiko never even exist? I can't move my body because of sleep paralysis, I guess. But I can clearly see the room I'm in now. There's one boy and two girls in here, aside from myself. I recognize them. They're the children who were killed in Heavenly Host during that incident, but they're still alive. Unfortunately, they're all bound hand and foot and just sprawled out on the floor, and so am I. That's the real reason I can't move. No! Stop! No! Please, no! I... I hear my eyes. Oh, shit. Uh, no! I can't see. Now I'm blindfolded. I can't see a thing that's happening to me. And since my hands and feet are tied up, I can't remove the blindfold either. That just makes everything so much worse. I guess because I can't see, I began to listen more intently. Oh. The helpless cries of the other children echo off the walls of the cramped room. I'm so scared it feels like my head's gonna explode. What are you doing to me? Why am I blindfolded? Untie me! Cut the ropes! I want to be able to use my hands and feet! Please! Please! I kept begging and pleading, but all I heard in response was the man walking away from me. In order... Okay? In order? What is happening? I've never heard a screaming like this before. It's pure, primal terror, cutting through the air like a perfect sine wave. It's the boy at the end. Feels like he's been screaming for an eternity. I think he's being killed right now. 
my god. What the hell is he doing to him? No one deserves this. Why isn't God allowing him to fall unconscious so he doesn't have to suffer? Oh. It's been at least half an hour now. Those inhuman screams of the young boy being ripped apart from the inside have finally come to a halt. No! 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 Without even a single moment of silence, the first of the girls in line is next to scream for her life, and the symph symphony goes on. Oh, the sounds. God, I can't take any more of this. I'm losing my mind. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh. Is it still going on? Come on. Just die already. Die already? God. What is wrong with me? You know what? I don't care. Just get it over with and leave me in peace. Finally, after hearing a sound like a heavy object being dropped, the noise has stopped and the room grew quiet again. Ugh, the sound effects though. Those footsteps are getting closer. All my hair standing on end at this point. Everything below my stomach feels like it's frozen. Like I've suddenly been stricken with severe diarrhea. <laughs> what? Why, why that comparison? In order? God, why am I relieved in the silence? Which means it's my turn now. Someone's got me by the hair. They're pulling my head up. And taking off my blindfold, which means I get to see the face of my killer! The four missing children were found in a basement room at Heavenly Host Elementary School, unused and officially sealed since the building's construction. When authorities entered, they were greeted with an inhuman, um, inhumanly horrific sight. Based upon the evidence at hand, the murder weapon was determined to be a pair of large sewing scissors found in the hands of the accused. Investigators suspected some hesitation on the man's part, however, as the deceased victim's wounds did not indicate that his full strength had been used. Nonetheless, he'd clearly act with extreme malicious intent. The official cause of death for the three murdered children has been listed as loss of blood following removal of the tongue. But the actual state of affairs was not quite so clinical, not even so pleasant, if you can believe it. The following details have been extra extrapolated from the information previously unreleased to the public, or at least previously unreported by news outlets. These details of the crime are based on the official police testimony of Sachiko Shinozaki herself. Evidently, the victims were bound, blindfolded, and spaced out on the floor, then killed, one by one. One was repeated, repeatedly stabbed in the abdomen with the aforementioned sciz pair of scissors. There had been many of his internal organs forcefully dug out. His discarded innards were found partially buried beneath the earthen floor of the basement room. Another was stabbed in the head dozens upon dozens of times to such an extent that all flesh and bone above her jawline was essentially minced away. With my blindfold removed, the sight that appeared before me was more horrific than anything I could possibly have imagined. The person staring back at me, brandishing a blood-soaked pair of sewing scissors, wasn't the large man from earlier at all. It was one of the children. <gasps> Holy shit! It 
was a little girl. Her face dyed red with the blood of her victims. Ah! She was staring intently at me with soulless gray eyes. And then... She just started giggling. Oh my god. <laughs> she was opening and closing the bloodied scissors over and over again. And the sound kept echoing through the room. Then she took those dull, rustedly, thoroughly blood soaked blades. And slowly brought them closer and closer to my left eye. How? Why? Why is it you? <laughs> no. No. No! I don't want to scream too loud. That's the loudest of getting. The third victim was stabbed in the left eye an indeterminate inter inter number of times until her eyeball became soup, like in consistency. She was eventually just left like that, slowly bleeding to death in horrible agony. Strangely, it was only after these mutilations had already been inflicted that the killer went back out and severed the victim's tongues. Learning the truth about these proceedings is shocking even to me, and it makes it nearly impossible to accept the murderer as anything but a monster. A bearing witness to every moment of this was a seven-year-old girl named Sachiko. In many ways, she's the most pilotable and long-suffering of them all but it was through her tearful, frightening testimony that y Yoshikazu Yaganihori was officially charged. Now, going back to the hunt for information on this unfortunate girl's whereabouts, it was her words that ultimately led to Yoshikazu's sentencing. Therefore, it comes as no real surprise that the sensitive information pertaining to her and her family would be withheld. That's to be expected. What's not expected, however, is that there's not even the slightest trace of this information left to find. It's as if sh it simply never existed. Therefore, I cannot help but consider alternate possible explanations. And I remind you, this is mere conjecture. But one question keeps nagging at the back of my mind. Was Yoshikazu Yagnor Hori the murder of the three victims? Is it possible this crime was not actually perpetrated by him at all? Think about it. In his final days, Yoshikazu was incapable of communicating with others through speech. And despite his childlike rev reversion, he'd always been a personable and friendly man. As the saying goes, he wouldn't have heard a fly. All his relatives, friends, and neighbors confirmed as much. <sighs> Goddamn. Shocked to hear that such a kindly man would commit these un unconscionable con atrocities. He certainly had no motive for the crime either. There was nothing for him to gain from it. Then again, he may have simply lost his mind. Look at his father. It was around the time that Principal Takame Yagnihori suddenly began speaking in tongues and acting in a mo most peculiar way. Not to mention scribbling incomprehensible gibberish all over his walls, as if possessed. He seemed frightened of someone, and would often be found crouching in the corner of his office, moaning and thrashing when visitors came by. If he could wi wind up in such a be beleaguered state, with no warning, then perhaps so too could his son. I believe that we're looking at a curse far more powerful than any man could devise. 
from the time it opened its doors to the day it closed them forever. Heavenly Host Elementary School. S sealed basement room has existed as some form of cursed ground. And to find the underlying cause, we must go back beyond the infamous kidnapping and murder incident. Back to a whole 20 years. I believe I may have found a clue that could shed some light on the situation. It may be a bit far-fetched, as leads go, but it's a lead nonetheless. Regrettably, since Heavenly Host was not only closed down, but demolished altogether, and another school built in its place, it's no longer possible to investigate the basement room directly. But my prestige has found what may be the next best thing. Something that could make the poss impossible possible once more. Preparations are being made to pursue this lead even now. Be sure not to miss the next installment. It may be the scoop of a lifetime. Cool. Keep it beaky. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Damn. That got really, really interesting. So the true killer was Sachiko. What a twist. Oh man. I'm really, 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 really into this. Like, oh my god. Oh man. That was so good. So good. Oh my god. We have one chapter la left now of this. But since this episode's pretty short, I'm gonna do a few of the extra episode, like extra stories. Because this one was a lot shorter than I thought. I was like hoping to finish Corpse Party today because I was wanting to finish chapter 4 yesterday. But oh my god. Oh my fucking god. That was a time. But yeah, after the credits roll and we get back to the menu, I'm gonna do an extra or two, depending how long they are. Because tomorrow... Tomorrow... I will hopefully be finishing Corpse Party. And then I'll move on to other games. So I want to see the extras, because we got two extras, the Medium Minds and She Knows a Key, and then there's one other extra. That's probably going to be after Chapter 5. So yeah, we're going to be doing meetings, Meeting of the Minds, because... Um, I'm so sorry, just going to check something. Because we haven't really... It, it just feels really short. Of a chapter, well... Of an episode, rather. Part, mind you. So let's do some meeting of the minds. And, uh... De yeah, depending how long that is, then I'll, uh... I might end, or I might do that other extra, too. So here we go. I hope you guys are really enjoying this as much as I am. Like, I'm really into Corpse Party. It's really, really a good time. Oh, it's mo about Morshke. Damn. Oh. And it's creepily taking pictures. Why are you running, little Yuka? Okay, so this is after Yuka ran away from him. Okay. Interesting. Could it be you caught me while I was snapping photos? <laughs> Looks like the chase is afoot. Okay, so we have to chase Yuka down. Uh, What's down here? Victim memoir. Cold. Hurts to move fingers. No strength to write on desk. Cannot talk or see friend. Tendon and leg cut. 
bleeding badly. Okay. Luck is flick. F flickle. <laughs> Fickle. But I still have the faith in it. That good luck charm. I know it's stupid, but I truly believe it works. So I know I'll see you again. Naho. And if anyone else finds this letter, please. Wish her good luck for me. Kori Kimamura. Oh yeah, I forgot it, but it'd be a creep. I'm taking photos of the corpses. Oh my god. Okay. So you have to look for Yuka. Okay. Oh. Might she be in here, perchance? Okay, let's look. Yuka? This room doesn't exactly lend itself to hiding in its current state, I suppose. Okay, so this way- Oh! 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 Hello, uh, Kazami. Uh, are you alright? Sorry about that. Uh, n no worries. Someone from another school? I'm totally fine. I should apologize as well. I wasn't looking where I was going. I see. You're from a different school. My name is Kizame. I'm a student at Byakudan Senior High. Sakuto Taro Moshke from Kis Kisaragi Academy. I'm grateful for the chance to meet another living being. I hope your phone wasn't broken in the fall. Let's have a look. Huh? That is quite all right. I'll have a look for myself. Give it here. Damn. Photo of your Oprah and everything. Didn't, did he see the corpse shot? If he did, there's no way he'll want anything to do with me anymore. Don't just look at another person's phone without permission, goddammit. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hey. You responsible for that? Um, come again? Ooh, I had a feeling we might be cut from the same cloth. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. I'd appreciate if you just let left, just leave me be. <laughs> <laughs> Let's meet again sometime, hey? Sometime real soon. God damn it. Oh. Oh, okay, that one was really short, so I guess I will do the other... The other one. Yeah, we're gonna do the other extra because that was a lot shorter than I thought it was gonna be. Because the other extra before was like long. We had to find like a hat for a ghost. Hey sis, you there? Huh? Yes, I'm here. Come on in. All right, so this is about uh, Ayumi. That's interesting. I see you slumping. Those tiny shoulders of yours. What's the matter? Your cute little face is all stained with tears. Come on over. Let's hear it. What happened? Oh, the sisters. They're so cute. So did you want just... Just want some quiet affection? Or do you want to talk about it? I want to ask you something. Oh, all right then, ask away. It's about your work. How old were you when you decided that this is what you wanted to do? Huh, good question, I guess. 
How is around your age, Ayumi? Are you sure it's what you wanted to do? I was because I trusted that a higher power was guiding me. There were certainly a lot of people opposed to the idea. <laughs> but I guess you knew that already, since you were there. <laughs> You're really awesome, you know that, sis? I don't have a lot of faith in my own abilities. No matter what, what I set out to do, I can never seem to bring myself to take the first step. It just scares me. Self-confidence. Such a complex, vital thing, yet so deceptively simple-sounding. I know you have it in you, Ayumi. You'll do great things. Okay, give me a moment. I was just making sure my stream was still working. <gasps> okay, it is. Cool. It's a skill you've honed from trial after trial, hardship after hardship. All of which you've overcome through sheer force of will. But what good are your accomplishments if you don't believe in yourself? You are Ayumi, the budding illustrator, always drawing in hopes that one day... Your dream can become a reality. Hayumi, the dedicated. Hayumi, the rebel. Never letting mom and dad convince you to choose a more stable occupation. No matter how many times they may try. Hayumi, the dreamer. Oh, god damn, there's a lot of talking in this one. Continue to draw beautiful works of art with such excitement and fire in those cute little eyes of yours. If you don't believe all those fantastic Ayumis, then who on earth will? Aw, oh, what is the point of this, there? Hmm. Huh. You know what I think? I think there's still another Ayumi hiding in there somewhere. An Ayumi with something bothering her. Hmm. You can come out now, troubled one. Let's hear what's on your mind. There are... There are so many people that, who are so much better than I am. Um, thousands, maybe even tens of thousands of really good illustrators. It's really disheartening, you know? It's like no matter how much skill and luck I've got, I just have to keep thinking. They're my comp competition. You know, that, can act that actually applies to a lot of stuff, like... I can honestly relate to Ayumi. Oh, like, on, on a real level there. I have a friend who draws pictures for a living, actually. And she wouldn't be where she is today if she hadn't taken some initiative. The only way to get ahead in life and achieve our dreams is to take action. Aww. I love how supportive she is. Have you ever heard of this author? She's been making waves in the field of paranormal research and is extremely well respected for her age. Hinoe handed a book to Ayumi. Huh. How did you read the characters in her name? Psycho Ki? Naho? That sounds familiar. Naho, Naho's the uh, ghost girl. Yes. Naho Senoki. She's been putting out book after book just like this for quite some time now. Not only has she earned the respect of her peers, but literally, literary circles are saying she's a strong contender for winning this term's Aku Takawa Award. I'm sorry if I butchered that. <laughs> wow. The most interesting part, though, is that she's about the same age as you, Ayumi. What's more is, she didn't learn her writing or problem-solving skills from any teacher. No, she apparently just kept writing stories and essays until she was satisfied. Because for her, writing is fun, pure and simple. Fun, huh? You need to have faith. Never forget why, the, why you got into illustration. 
in the first place. And if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. I struggle with this sort of thing all the time, but I keep reminding myself, this is what I wanted to do. It's what I love. <laughs> okay, sis. Huh? You win. I'm going to keep at it until I become a full-on professional. That's the spirit. And you know what else? This contemporary of mine. Naho, was it? Mark my words. One day, I'm going to be the girl they contract to design the cover of one of her books. Are you now? Well, that sounds fantastic. I'll be awaiting the day with bated breath. I'll show your book to all my clients and say, Look at this! My sister drew it. Isn't it wonderful? So you'll support me? Of course! Aww. I love you so much, sis! Aww. I always will be rooting for you, Ayumi. There wasn't really any gameplay of that. It was more so story and adding, adding on to the characters. <laughs> but that's all the extras for now. Another Ayumi. Um, I guess this is just going to be a shorter stream for now. Because the chapters individually can be so long. Chapter 5 is probably like 4 plus hours because goddamn, like some of the chapters take me so long. So yeah, I guess this is just going to be a shorter stream for Corpse Party. Thank you to, for everyone who joined. I really appreciate it. If you want to keep up to date with when I'm streaming, which I kind of forgot to post about it today on my Discord, but normally my Discord is where I announce my streams. So I'll share that in the chat there. Oh, I spelled it wrong. <laughs> It's a uh, Discord. Yeah, so it's a shared Discord between Ferngles and I. And uh, now that I'm ending, I'm going to try and find someone to raid. So who's streaming right now? Okay, Ayaka Cat is streaming right now. So we're going to raid her. I could, I'm just typing her name. I just want to see who is uh, around. Okay, so preparing that. It's another big raid, but it's a raid nonetheless. And I'll see you guys next stream, which will be most likely tomorrow in Corpse Party, and that'll be it of Corpse Party. See ya.